Hello, Driving Intelligence community. I'm assuming that many of you are like me, especially if you're watching my channel, since I've modified this F-150 quite a bit and every other vehicle I own. What you end up with is something that isn't quite as comfortable as it was from the factory. Case in point, I modified the exhaust. I, uh, I've got uh, shorty headers on this. I've removed two of the cats uh, because one of them blew out and I didn't want to replace it since they're so expensive. Put a cat back system in here and I put a, uh, a nice uh, MagnaFlow exhaust. What I ended up with was drone in the cab and it was pretty significant. It was recommended to me by someone that I should try a J-pipe and uh, I'll get into this a little bit further in the video, but this can cancel out the resonance that occurs when you have a, uh, a loud exhaust. So I uh, went online, did some research and found the, uh, the appropriate calculation, which I'm gonna show you. Um, I uh, instructed a muffler shop to put a J-pipe on that was of a certain length and it is amazing the difference that it makes. Um, it will definitely improve the uh, enjoyment of your ride if you've modified your exhaust, especially if you've done things like taking cats off um, or you're running stray pipes. So follow along. Uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Also, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, there's nothing else you can do more important than uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to help me out. Thanks for watching. So what is this interesting looking tube that comes off the side of my exhaust and ends? It's not a dual exhaust. It's a J tube. I had this installed because I had pretty bad drone in my vehicle after removing one of my cats on each side. So I still have one cat. And I've got a, uh, a cat back system with a MagnaFlow muffler, one in, two, one in, two out. Uh, that modification, especially taking the two cats out, created a significant drone in this vehicle. I'm going to show you how to do this uh, to reduce that drone and make uh, the drivability of your vehicle much more enjoyable. You can see I took my second cat out and I wasn't trying to get more performance. One of my cats blew out and it was making a horrible racket so I had the two second cats taken out of the vehicle. That was one of the big problems and also putting a cat back system you get a lot more exhaust noise coming out of this vehicle. Using this app I could see which frequencies were causing the most noise in the, uh, the vehicle. I was driving to between 60 and 70 miles per hour and that's how I picked the frequency. You can see as I pick up the engine speed that the frequencies increase or change. Um, so that's how I initiated the calculation was to get that frequency that was causing the most noise which uh, was likely to be the, the, the reason for the drone in the cab. So let's talk more deeply about the technical solution. Here you'll see a typical diagram of engine, cat, and muffler. Um, the problem that you're having is a significant drone at some RPM. And my solution that I'm recommending to you is to add a J-pipe that is calculated at a specific length that will cancel out the drone sound waves. What we need to do is find out what frequency is causing the drone at a specific speed in RPM. You'll see here that I'm showing a sine curve. Uh, this represents the drone that you're experiencing in the cab when you're driving down the road and it's at its most significant sound level. I use the Spectrum app, which you can download. I have it on iPhone. I don't own or I didn't develop this app. It's just something I found to determine what the frequencies and sound levels are uh, for various tests that I use it for. Um, so what you'll do is you'll activate this app while you're driving down the road and you'll get to the speed that you are experiencing the most sig significant drone. At that speed, and make sure that you're in your uh, top gear, or the gear that you need to be in most of the time, which for me was overdrive, you'll see that yellow bar indicates the most significant uh, frequency, the most significant decibels, and in this case it was 31 hertz. So we need to calculate the size of the J-pipe to offset the, uh, the sound waves from the drone by 180 degrees. So you're effectively canceling out any sound wave coming from the drone. And that's what I'm representing here. The red was what I showed before as the drone sound wave. And the blue curve is the, uh, the sound wave that we're going to create that's going to be 180 degrees out from the drone sound wave. So how do we calculate that? At this point, the calculation is extremely easy. Once you know the hertz, the frequency of your drone, 
you calculate your J-pipe length by dividing the speed of sound by the frequency and then divide it once again by four because what you want to do is get one quarter of the sound wave, one quarter phase out, and because the sound wave has to transfer through the J-pipe, hit the end of the J-pipe, which is sealed, and bounce back, that's going to create a 180 degree out sound wave, which will cancel out your drone. In this case, from the previous slides, I showed 31 hertz, which is not a real number. Uh, you'll need to calculate your own. But it comes out to 2.76 meters or 108.9 inches. Now the length of the J-pipe starts from where it is cut into the, the main exhaust line to the end of the pipe. So it's not just a straight section. It needs to be the entire length of that J-pipe to make sure that you're properly counseling out your sound waves. As I mentioned, I did this on my vehicle. The sound noise reduction, and actually I don't know that it really reduces the sound level as much as canceling out that drone. It was significant, and the truck is much more pleasurable to drive, and I'm sure this will work for you as well. If you have any questions, please leave them below. This might uh, confuse you a little bit. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and I'd love it if you subscribe. That would definitely help my channel.